Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a double chain sprocket gear in Autodesk Inventor software. If I rotate this profile, this will look like this. So this is the cutout for the key. From back view, this will look like this. Okay. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and we are going to select the right side plane. Select this YZ plane. This will be the right view. Now take the line command. First, we are going to make the rough sketch. So we are going to make the rough sketch of this profile. Okay. Here till this, this, and this vertical. This profile. Okay this profile here and till this point and join here ok now go to dimension define this first dimension as 25 mm ok now we are going to define the other dimensions ok so we will define this first 1.3 this also 1.3 ok now define this dimension, this will be 7.2, okay. Now we have a curve profile over here. So go to arc and select three point arc. Select this point and select this bottom point, okay. Similarly select here, first point and make this as second point. Now go to tangent constraint, select this arc, select this line. So select this arc, select this line. Okay. Now escape. Now select the inner line. Select this line and select this line. Make them construction geometry. Okay. Now go to dimension. Define this arc radius as 13 mm and define this also as 13 mm. Okay. Now select this top and select this center line here we will define this as 88.55 divided by 2 ok so this will be the profile now you can see this complete profile has been dislocated now escape now we will erase this complete profile select this also delete ok now here go to line command and make this a uh, center line over here. Escape. We have selected the green point. Okay. So this will be the half of this complete line. Go to dimension. So from this end, this will be at a distance of 10.5 mm. Okay. Now escape. Now this will be the profile. Now you can see the whole profile is getting shrink when we are going give all the dimensions make this construction now here I want the same profile this side as well so that's why I have made the center line go to mirror select this complete profile ok select till here ok go to mirror line select this mirror line apply and done we have not selected this line otherwise we have to trim this now go to line, now make one line over here and make one profile till here and this will be the vertical line, ok. Escape, you can drag this or you can delete this also, delete this, ok. Now here go to dimension, now you can define this dimension as 25, so this will be completely defined. Now this profile is not defined properly. You can give a dimension over here or go to the vertical constraint, select this point and select this point. Now you can see this is also constraint. Now here we are left with the width, go to dimension, define this as 12 mm, okay and escape. If you are unable to see these profiles properly, you will drag it upside, okay. 
and this these are the radius this also okay so i think they are clear now you can note it down all the dimensions in this view i have shown all the dimensions okay now go to line you want a whole profile so we are going to construct line over here go to vertical constraint select this line go to dimension and here define this as 15 mm so this will be a diameter of 30 okay this will be the diameter of 50 as this is half now go to 3d model take revolve here select this profile go to axis and select this center axis okay now rotate now you can see the profile okay now press ok <coughs> now we have the profile over here now we have to make these cutout profiles okay so rotate the view select this face go to create sketch here take the circle command and make a circle from the center point and make a one circle over this of diameter 8.51 okay now here we will not define the diameter of this circle we have another uh, uh, way to define so select the center point and select this now escape select this and select this line over here and make them construction now go to dimension define the angle between these two lines as 18 degree and here select both these lines and this dimension will be 12.7 mm okay now escape now you can see the this circle is been defined properly okay so we have divided into sections of 18 degree now when i check the diameter so here you can see the diameter will be 82.196 escape now here select this file and make it a construction unit okay now go to r command take three point arc or first go to line command from the center point make one line over here and similarly one line over here go to dimension define the angle between these two as 70 and the angle between these two lines also 70 okay now go to r command take three point arc make one arc here and make one arc here okay go to tangent constraint select this arc select the circle select this arc select this circle okay now here go to dimension define the radius of this arc as 22.5 mm and this also 22.5 okay now go to line select this point and select this point escape drag this arc upward select this line make it a horizontal constraint okay go to dimension here we will give the dimension as 6 mm this profile should be outside this complete profile okay now escape you can trim this inner profile go to trim trim this we want this profile over like this okay escape select these angular profiles this and this make them construction unit okay so this will be the profile which we will cut now now go to 3d model take extrude select this profile and here take cut and from here we will take all so this will be a through cut now press ok now we have only one cut profile go to part one we want multiple numbers so as to make the tooth profile okay go to part four now here when we rotate it so this will be the front go to the circular pattern select extrude one 
go to rotation axis and select this as rotation axis. Here we want a count of 20. Okay. So these will be the profiles. Now press OK. So it will generate the final profile. Okay. So this will be the profile. Now here we want a, a cutout for key. Here we have cutout for key. So go to part 4. Select this face. Go to create sketch. Here take the rectangle command. We take two point center rectangle. On this circle, make a rectangle profile. Go to dimension. The width will be of 6 mm. Okay. And the height of 10 mm. Now go to the vertical constraint. Select the center point and select this point. Escape. Select this circle. Make it a construction geometry. Now go to 3D model. Take extrude. Here take the cut. And from here we will take all. Rotate the profile. So this will be a through cut. Now press OK. Rotate the profile once again. Now here we will give the final finishing operations. Go to fillet. Take here a fillet of 2 mm. And press OK. Now go to chamfer. Take here a chamfer of 1.5. Select this profile, rotate, and select this hole. Okay. Now press OK. Rotate the profile. Now here we will define the appearance. From here, we are taking the chrome polished. Okay. So this will be the final profile. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a double sprocket gear in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.